Welcome to the Sheridan's Accountants and Financial Planners app. Really proud of our new app, super easy to use, nice and secure. Just before we get started, make sure before you start using our app, you've got your PIN, your face recognition or your thumbprint turned on your phone. So you do need to have uh, your phone security turned on before you start using the app. But let's jump in. I'll show you how easy it is to download the app and get started. To download our app's really easy. Just jump into your app store, whether you're on an Apple or a, a Google a phone, Android phone, just search the App Store for Sheridan's. And when you tap on that, it will come up with our app. You'll see our familiar colors on the screen there. Mine's got open on it, but yours will have download. So just tap on that and it will download the app onto your phone, ready for us to jump in and set up our account. Once you've downloaded our app and opened it for the first time, there's two methods for uh, setting up your account. You can either tap on the I symbol in the top right hand corner or just tap on the My Docs button where I'm moving the mouse there on the screen and it will tell you that you need to unlock or create an account. So just tap on the unlock button that you see on the screen there and on this screen we don't have an account set up already so we just select the register button there where I'm moving the mouse. Pop in your name, uh, email details, uh, password, accept the terms and conditions and then when you click the register button you'll get an email to your email account with a three digit pin number and the next screen will ask you to enter that three digit pin number so it can validate your email and you have now logged into the app and you're ready to get started. Okay now we've successfully logged into the app and created an account you just leave the app open you don't need to log out each time uh, because your phone's protected by the security on your phone your thumbprint your face recognition or your pin number just come into the app anytime you want to use it I uh, just want to show you a couple of features around the my docs button there where I'm moving the mouse so if we process for example an ATO document for you we'll put a copy of that in the my docs area or if there's something that we need you to sign we'll put it in the my docs area so let's look at the ATO document you'll get an email from us and a push notification telling you for example that your notice of assessment is in the my docs area just come into our app tap on the my docs button and then just tap on the history button uh, on the screen there and anything that we've sent for you will be there so here's a notice of assessment just on the blue writing there just tap on that and it will open the document and that is permanently stored in the app anytime that you want it so anything that we do for you sign a document uh, provide you with some documents we'll keep a, a copy or provide a copy through that history area and you can come in here anytime you want you'll notice there's a button in the top right hand corner uh, a white button with a, a square box and an arrow pointing out of it where I'm moving the mouse if you want to send a copy to um, your desktop or print a copy, uh, hit that button. It'll send you an email with a link. Just click on that link and then a number will appear on the screen that you can enter and then you can access that document in your browser or in your email system and, uh, you know, and, and print a copy or send it to the bank if you want. There's also a button in here for signing documents. So whenever we need you to sign something, you, again, you'll get an email from us and a, and a push notification. Just come into the My Docs here, that top button where I'm moving the mouse, documents for signing and anything that we need you to sign will be on the screen here. So in this case, uh, Jessica Claus, Santa Claus wife has got something to sign. Uh, we can zoom in, zoom out. If you want to send the document, if it's a, a large document with lots of pages, if you want to send it to the desktop onto your computer, your laptop, your Mac, uh, just tap on that uh, white box with the arrow again and same same concept. It'll send a, uh, an email with a link. Click on the link, enter the PIN number and you can um, look at the document and sign it on your, on your desktop. If it's just a couple of pages like this and I want to sign it and I've zoomed in and zoomed out, just that green pen in the top right hand corner uh, if there's something wrong with it or I don't want to sign it then just tap the X but uh, top uh, right hand corner the green pen we just tap on that enter our name details in agree to the that we are who we are pop your name into the uh, into the box there and uh, then you can you know sign the document and uh, put your full name in and then click sign and that'll come back to us and we'll put a copy in that history area for you so you don't need to um, bother taking a copy of that it's that easy to sign documents going forward and it's that easy to access any of your documents in the history area when you get a chance have a look through the app here we've got some other options here where you can call the office and book an appointment contact us some forms in there some checklists but the main feature we wanted to show today was the my docs button thanks for having a look at our uh, video today hope you enjoy using our app where we're really proud of it and can't wait to get your feedback.